Simon revealed that Nanso held a forum with various school and trainees representative councils to deliberate on the state of higher education in the country. The recent plans by NASFAP to allegedly blacklist all outstanding loans took center stage during the discussions. However, the meeting rejected the idea and called for wider stakeholder consultations. No poor student must be harassed for having studied via NSFF and therefore being unable to return the money or repay huge debts. No student must be blacklisted. And I put that on record as the Namibian National Students Organization hereby deem NSFF not to put any student or to blacklist any of our given students that had studied through a loan that they received through the farm. Instead, NSFF funding model must be transformed into grants and scholarship system. This is one of the reasons that the entire NANSO leadership calls for free tertiary education in our lifetime. NANSO resolved that no interest charges should be added on any tuition fee loans and that NASFAP should instead be assisted by all its stakeholders to remain relevant and sustainable. Grand fishing quotas to NSFF, grand NSFF mineral exploring rights, and compel com companies benefiting from education to grant NSFF not less than 5% shareholding. The conversion of the loans into grants was President Gagob's idea in 2015. But earlier this week, NASFA's interim chief executive officer, Kennedy Kandume, ruled out the possibility to implement such a proposal. Chulana Fuka, NBC News, Bentuk.